Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to do my July wrap up. So I'm going to talk about the books that I read, the books that I'm currently reading and then movies and series that I've been watching during the month of July. So in the month of July I only read two books and those were A House at the Bottom. I never get to say this correctly Jesus A House at the Bottom of a Lake by Josh Mellerman that is a young adult book is is short uh, I have a video about it so if you want to watch it I will link it in the cards and down below in the box description and this is a, a mystery story where we have two teenagers that go on a date and they go rowing on a canoe uh, on a lake that they discover another lake more in hiding and there they uh, get to find out that in that lake there is a submerged house a huge house and so of course curiosity rises and they go to explore and so the story develops after that uh, I really enjoyed this book I explained better in, in my video but there was some things that I wanted that they will be more developed or more explored but you know overall I really enjoyed the story I think it is a light horror so if you are a bit scary scary um, if you scary easily I think this book is perfect for you it's still um, a perfect dose of mystery and horror so you won't be dealing with graphic scenes everything will be in almost there but never there you know so i think that if you are kind of scary a scary cat i think you will enjoy very much this one if you want to dive in in horror shall i say so there you go and then i also read breakfast the tiffany's by truman capote so this one is a novella and is about a man who moved to New York and he moved to a building where lives a young woman called Holly. And although our main character is this young man, that young man is like 30 years old or something, that we never know the name, his name, you know, um, but the whole story is him getting to know this Holly and this is more about Holly's life although we know some things about her but she at the end of the book will have a um, vanishing that will leave everyone who, know, who knew her wondering what her life is about now so it's quite interesting you will love holly and dislike holly so you will have mixed feelings about her because as i'm saying as i was saying this is not she supposedly is not a main character but she kind of is um and you know she has um she's kind of an imposter in a way well you have to read to understand what I mean. I, I will leave a link also to the video that I did for this book so you can go and watch it. So there we go. Then what I'm reading? Well, the same thing. I'm not going to dwell too much on it. So the Brothers Karamazov, yes, I haven't finished them. It, sorry. So I'm still dwelling on it and then guns germs and steel or guns steel and germs now i don't know the correct um, title 
by Jared Diamond. Then I'm reading some other stuff like The Bookseller of Paris by... No, The Paris Bookseller, I'm sorry, by Carrie Maher. Um, but I'm still really at the beginning and I don't know if I'm going to continue on this reading, at least for now, because meanwhile I have to get get it get it on on other readings to get ahead of my schedule i'm not going to reveal too much uh, i think you know what it is by now but i have to get ahead so the videos can come out at the right time and no i'm not putting them on currently reading in goodreads because i don't want you to know which books I'm I'm going to bring to the channel so they are only going to be uh, revealed later on I'm being kind of a mysterious blogger but you know okay so about the movies this month or last month in July I <laughs> it gave it came to me a nostalgia and I saw two, two movies that for me was a rewatch but I love them very much they are light comedies and uh, light romance we can say and what, one of them is The Backup Plan with Jennifer Lopez so the whole plot of the movie is that she's a accomplished woman that was in finance or technology world and she left that life to have a animal shop um, and then she gets to a certain point in her life where she was expecting to have a partner and have children but that didn't happen for her so she goes to a fertility clinic and she wants to be inseminated so she gets pregnant and you know have a child in her life but in the day that she's getting inseminated she randomly meets a guy and they are strangers right but and supposedly that will be uh, I meet you I met you here and then I never see you again but that's not really what happens you know so we have to have a movie right and so she gets on with this guy in a weirdly kind of way and then it's all about their knowing each other and the situation that she's in not knowing if she's pregnant or not and then discovering if she is or if she isn't and then she meets this guy you know so very cute i love this movie it's um as very as a very mom has a lot of moments um that are really funny there's a particular scene that catch catches me all the time and or every time i should say and is a birth scene <laughs> so very funny you have to watch it if you haven't already so there you go then we have i rewatch so these two movies are kind of oldy not old but you know they were filmed a few years ago so they are not novelty but the movie that I'm talking about is The Morning Show with Harrison Ford and the main character I'm sorry, The Morning Show is a TV series nothing to do about, nothing related I mean Morning Glory uh, with, as I was saying, Harrison Ford and the main character is a woman that is portrayed by Rachel McAdams and I love this actress, although I didn't remember her name, I had to check. 
This movie also had Diane Keaton, so it's a comedy which I found, found really funny to have Harrison Ford in a comedy. I love Harrison Ford. I think it was brilliant. So this is, the plot is about a young woman who works for a morning show in a channel, a TV channel, but she is dispensed, so, so she is dismissed because they have to cut edges and so she's a collateral and so she's unemployed and she is trying to find a new job and she gets an opportunity to work for a really known a big channel but in a morning show that is not going so well so the views are not there and the director uh, says to her that he, they have their time count they have their time how do you say it so they don't have many time because the, the show will be cancelled and so she has to do a miracle so the show won't be and so then she meets a guy of course that works for that channel in another department but he, he works there um, and then she dismisses the male anchor of her morning show because he was full of himself and he did the bare minimal and so she has an opportunity to hire um, high rewarded and high considered journalist that's portrayed by Harrison Ford but Harrison Ford as he has all this prestige he doesn't want to go to a morning show right so and that is all the um, um how the, the the journey of this young woman trying to make this morning show a hit so that she won't be dismissed again and you know continue that the show continue putting the show on air magnificent i love this movie i love rachel mcadams i think she's brilliant she, she's so beautiful and of course Harrison Ford is who he is so he brings so much to the movie and he's so funny and Diane Keaton makes you know she's Diane Keaton what can I say so she's so cute and they for, they formed a wonderful pair so they will they will not get along and that will show on air so you have an idea so yeah you have to watch it it's really funny and you will pass a really good time watching this movie it's an oldie it's from 2010 i think uh, the backup plan also is that let me check yeah the backup plan also is from 2010 so they are a few years old <laughs> but um, they're great so go watch it and then more really recently in July of course uh, I went to the cinema and I watched Oppenheim Oppenheimer and this is a Christopher Nolan movie with Gillian Murphy portraying Oppenheimer uh, and it's funny because I don't know where I was in school but I don't remember this name ever coming up during class uh, I know nothing about this man and it was really interesting to find out how the development of the atomic bomb went in or went on or how should I say it um, and it is like so we have him being accused by another important man during those times 
and so we have it's not a, tri a trial but it's more how I don't know how you call it it's something that they do in America where they go like to um, to a communion of uh, deputy, no, it's not deputy, it's, it's, um, politicians um, and uh, members of government and they have to, they have to testify but it's not a trial but their, their reputation is on the line <laughs> okay, so uh, so this is back and forth in time we have this uh, trial going on and then we have the go back in time to when the atomic bomb was being built or was being developed so we have the gathering of the team of the scientists so Hoppenheimer was invited to lead the team because he was a physicist uh, and he studied, we have him, we have the story from when he was studying in Europe with the biggest minds in his time in the field uh, and his nightmares of something like he was very anxious and very depressed in a way um, and the soundtrack is really wonderful so the the timing between the nightmares and the visual effects and the music are great uh, as in every movie in christopher of christopher nolan so but yeah we have his life when he, throughout when he was a student till when he came back to america and went to be a teacher that he started with one student and then he had a whole class and then he um, being appointed the leader of the project the Manhattan project I think that how it was named um, and you know there all that those minds those brilliant minds developing the atomic bomb so or something you know they have to build something for the um, American army because then it had it, ha it happened Pearl Harbor you know and although the Germans were defeated the Japanese um, were still going on on war and on um, war tactics and so they wanted to end world war to in some way shape or form and that shape or form would be a bomb and so that's how they talked to each other and they came to the idea of an atomic bomb and so then we have the development of those ideas and of those theories and yeah it was i i i, I really I don't know if it was talked about in school because I don't really remember anything about this this man and his story I don't know what happened <laughs> but I was very happy to um, to know about him and about his life and what he did I'm not of the opinion that the atomic bomb was essential to end World War II. I think it was... Um, a monstrosity in a way what happened. But you know, war is war and sometimes we do... People do things and politicians have to make decisions that... You know, is war it's not it's a peculiar time to make decisions and I think that was what happened and they had I think it was more of a vengeance position to make because of what happened in Pearl Harbor because that was a really sensitive point in 
the World War II history. So it was, in my opinion, was more a retaliation than the wanting to end war in itself, although they knew it would end up to be like that. But, you know, everyone has their opinion, so you are open to tell me yours, but yeah. The movie is great, I think for a lesson, a history lesson is really wonderful and it was very very interesting to know this, this life, this man life. Um, and I didn't know but this movie was based on a book called Oppenheimer by, let me check, oh it's not Oppenheimer, it's American Prometheus the Triumph and Tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer by K. Bird. So I will leave a photo of the book here so you to see. But I'm really curious about this book now, of course, and what happened to him after a few years after the, the end of the war and the use of the bomb. So yeah. Go watch it, I think you will enjoy it very much. If you like history, I think you will enjoy this, this movie very much. Okay, then about series. I only started to watch one new series. I'm watching still the series that I talked to you about in my last wrap up. So the new series that I started watching. I only uh, watched like three episodes and is also an oldie but i never have heard about this one i don't know why it's called pan am so it's about pan am steward stewardess stewards stewardesses how is it i don't know but you know what i mean uh, and yeah it's about um, their life in in the job and of course also because they form a team it's not like um, Emirates, for instance, where, as my understand goes, they don't have teams formed, so they are called um, randomly and they form a team, each a new team each time, right? But in here they have, uh, in Pan Am, this is during the 60s, I, w I shall say, it's their life on the plane, so about the pilot, about the life of each stewardess and it's really charming, yeah. Um, and it's funny because this was some years ago, so when this came out? So this came out in 2011, so it's an oldie. So it's with Christina Ricci, Margot Robbie, Michael Mosley, Karine Vanessa, Mike Vogel, Kelly Gardner, so some known actors, but apparently this only has one season, which I'm really sad about. I don't know why they didn't continue the series, because I think it's really great. Uh, this involves the um, CIA, I think it's CIA and some things so it's really interesting and i think all characters have their peculiarities and they are well thought i i think um we will get to know the backgrounds of each character as long as we watch the episodes of course so um we get to know them a bit better along we watch the series um, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I think they are so beautiful and so elegant in their uniforms. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So if you're curious, go research something about it. And let me know if you have watched it already, what you thought, if you think this series should be continued for right now i think it should but yeah 
so this is my july wrap up i hope <laughs> you have got something um, with this wrap up of your uh, enjoyment please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to wall so you can receive all my notifications leave a like it helps a lot with the evolution of the video and the evolution of the channel follow me on instagram i'll be posting there whenever i have a book review to do or anything else and i see you on the next one bye